A violent racist attack that was over in 20 seconds. Almost 20 years on, a jury at the Old Bailey deliver their verdict. After two police inquiries, a public inquiry and the McPherson report, Stephen Lawrence's murder remained unsolved. But his family's long, agonising fight for justice ultimately changed the way Britain is policed. The teenager was failed from the moment of the attack. Even as he lay dying from a single stab wound, no one tried to stem the blood loss. He died on the way to hospital. His mother, Doreen, later questioned their reluctance. Were they afraid to dirty their hands with a black man's blood, she asked. But the main accusations of failure were levelled at the police. Why didn't they immediately search for witnesses? Why did officers wait to compile a list of suspects? And why did the officer in charge of the crime scene take his constable to the pub up the road upon arrival? Inspector Stephen Groves is one of several senior officers whose leadership was described as abysmal in the wake of the killing. The failure to make arrests early in the case had devastating consequences. After just 48 hours, police received these anonymous letters naming four out of the five men who were to become the prime suspects. Doreen Lawrence handed a written list of suspects to one detective, only to see him screw it up into a ball right in front of her. Two weeks passed before an arrest was made. There was anger that police had missed the chance to find the murder weapon or incriminating blood-stained clothing. They were totally annoying us. They were annoying the adults that was giving them um, the, the names. They, they, they didn't seem to want to engage with us. They was, seemed to be too... Um, concerned with myself, Stephen's background, where we were in a gang and all things were, which were irrelevant to the things that happened that night. After lawyers and police decided there wasn't enough evidence to prosecute, the Lawrences were left to launch a private lawsuit. That also collapsed and the three defendants walked free. If I wasn't angry, I'd probably have fall apart by now. It's, it's the anger that's kept me going. Stephen's family fought on, meeting Nelson Mandela and tirelessly working to keep the story in the headlines. They had to wait for four years to see the suspects face hostile crowds, brought before a judicial inquiry ordered by the government. The report by Sir William McPherson called the Met Police Force institutionally racist. It also highlighted failures and a lack of leadership and led to the removal of the double jeopardy law, opening the door for potential new charges against the suspects. The Lawrence's marriage ended after years of immense strain. Stephen's parents never seeing a police officer charged or disciplined for the failings that turned their tragic loss into a national scandal.